To wind a bobbin, place the spool on the spool pin. Pass the thread through the bobbin tension guide. Now take the bobbin and pass the thread through one of the holes of the bobbin discs in this way. After we pass the thread by about 5 cm or 2 inches through the hole, we place the bobbin on the bobbin winding spindle and push the bobbin towards the bobbin stopper. Then hold the end of the thread firmly and press down on the foot pedal to wind some thread around the bobbin. Once the thread wraps around the top of the bobbin, the end will be secured. Now release the foot pedal and cut the excess thread. The excess thread could interfere with the winding bobbin. Press down on the foot pedal to continue winding the bobbin. Sometimes when winding the bobbin at high speeds, the spool may jump off the spool pin. It is a good idea to hold the spool gently in place. Once the bobbin is filled with thread, it will stop by itself in most machines. If this does not happen, we need to stop the winding ourselves before the thread passes the edge of the bobbin discs. To remove the bobbin, push the bobbin winding spindle back to its original position and pull the bobbin out. If we are winding thread on a bobbin with some thread already on it, follow these steps. Hold the bobbin in this way so that the thread hangs from the top to the bottom. Wind the thread to the end by rotating the bobbin. Place the end of the new thread above the right side of the bobbin disc and hold it down with your index finger and then wind the thread a few times in the same direction as the previous thread on the bobbin. Make sure you cover the end of the thread when winding. Place the bobbin on your bobbin winding spindle to continue winding. Make sure the thread is behind the bobbin. 